it's your girl Nikki with Nikki Semivinis and welcome back to another episode. <laughs> if many of you recall a few videos prior to, I made a video and said, guess what I got in the mail today you guys. <laughs> so I was explaining in the episode that my beautiful cousin from sunny Florida actually has shipped me some gorgeous looking avocados. All right, so my cousin actually had shipped those avocados about eight or nine days ago from today when I'm filming right now and let's just say yeah I had to actually have a burial ceremony in the garbage for all of those avocados beautiful avocados that she shipped to me <laughs> I'm so sorry cousin the reason being you guys is because I actually allowed them to ripen more than they had to so I should have taken them out maybe two to three days versus four to five days where they turn up like from green to yellowish and off into the distance of some other color unbeknownst to me. <laughs> so don't do like I did and wait that long. Be sure to make sure your avocados are ripen after a couple of days. So with that being said, I actually had to go to the grocery store, you guys. I had some free avocados and I had to go and purchase me some avocados. <laughs> All right, lovely. So I'm going to tell you exactly what I'm going to be making in this episode. I am going to be making a double smoked tofu bacon. Wait for it. <laughs> and guacamole grilled cheese sandwich, you guys. Okay. In addition to that, I am going to make some avocado chips from a recipe that I actually found on Pinterest that I thought was a little bit interesting. So watch what I do with my avocados as I make my double smoked tofu bacon and guacamole grilled cheese sandwich and my avocado chips. <laughs> All right, lovely. So to make my fresh guacamole, I'm going to take my one avocado and simply unpeel the skin and remove the seed like so. I'm going to shimmy a little and get a little extra exercise in while I'm unpeeling the skin off my avocado. <laughs> now it's time to smash it down like so. Once I smash my avocado in the bowl, it's time for me to add my simple ingredients. <laughs> I'm going to take a fresh lime and simply add a few drops of fresh lime. If you don't have a fresh lime, you could just simply use lime juice. Taking a pinch bowl of diced jalapenos and a pinch bowl of Roma tomatoes as well as two tablespoons, whoops, <laughs> of diced red onions. And what would fresh guacamole be without a tablespoon of fresh cilantro? <laughs> it's snowing, it's snowing. I'm adding a few sprinkles of pink Himalayan salt as well. And I'm simply gonna just mix out for my fresh guacamole. Ooh, look how colorful it looks and it smells oh so good. All right, y'all, let me taste out my guacamole. Wait, let me tell y'all something. <laughs> y'all, that guacamole that you guys just saw me eating, oh my gosh, it was so good. I even had the hubby taste it, and he was like, that's fire. You got to mix more of that. <laughs> let me tell you, I have not had guacamole in over 10 years. And I'm telling you, I'm just now easing back into eating guacamole after going to Manhattan with a girlfriend a few months back, Manhattan, New York. You guys, I don't know what's going on with my palate. I know the body changes every 10 years, but let me tell you, my body is like literally embracing guacamole, avocado all over. It's a whole vibe over here in my kitchen, y'all. <laughs> all right, so up next, now I'm gonna go ahead and make these avocado chips. I'm gonna use two avocados versus one because I wanna have some extra chips, so stay tuned. <laughs> it's avocado chips time. I'm simply gonna repeat the process by simply unpeeling the skin from two of my avocados, okay? Look at my avocados. <laughs> I'm gonna take two to three tablespoons of Follow Your Heart Vegan Parmesan cheese, as well as one to two tablespoons of lemon juice. A fresh lemon will work as well. And one tablespoon of garlic powder. I'm gonna take two to three tablespoons of Italian seasoning. Gonna take one tablespoon of pink Himalayan salt, one tablespoon of black pepper, and simply mix out my ingredients really well, like so. Mm. 
We're going to lay out our parchment paper on the baking sheet like so. And we're going to simply take scoopfuls of avocado and place it on the parchment paper. I made a total of six avocado chips, but you can make smaller or larger portions if you like. I simply flattened out my avocados into the shape of a cookie or chip and there was no need for me to sprinkle any olive oil on the parchment paper because simply the avocados has like a natural oil and moisture that it simply is not going to dry out. Once my avocados are simply laid out, I'm going to place in the oven for 375 degrees for 50 minutes and look what I have you guys, some golden brown baked avocado chips. <laughs> Y'all, are y'all ready to make this grilled cheese? We're gonna take the Thrilling Foods Double Smoked Tofu Bacon Strips, some vegan earth balanced soy free butter, V-Ben shredded pepper jack shred cheese, as well as some Falia Hard vegan cheddar cheese. And I'm gonna take my fresh guacamole, some olive oil, and Izio Artesian Bakery Lucky 7 Multi-Grain Sourdough Bread. I'm going to cook my double smoked tofu bacon from Thrilling Foods on a medium low heat. You guys, the website is going to be in the description box. Make sure you check them out. Their bacon is so delicious. It's double smoked tofu bacon and it tastes just like the real deal. Delicious. I'm going to simply just take me some diced up red onions and roma tomatoes and simply mix it out together and to take on that delicious flavor from the double smoked tofu bacon so it can absorb all of it once it's fully sauteed i'm going to remove it from the skillet but i'm going to leave the heat to a very low so that my skillet can stay nice and warm as i prepare out my grilled cheese i'm going to take me some olive oil i put a little bit of grape poupon dijon mustard on I put my shredded cheese on one side, my double smoked tofu bacon on the other, fresh guacamole, my saute onions and Roma tomatoes. And do you guys see how the colors are coming together? I'm simply putting it back into the skillet on both sides on a medium low heat, adding a little bit sprinkles of Italian seasoning. Look at that golden brown. That is what you guys are going for. Medium low heat, you guys. Oh my gosh, it looks amazing. <laughs> And I decided to use the shredded vegan cheese because for me personally, it melts quicker and better for my grilled cheese sandwiches. Whoops, I forgot to add my sauteed onions and Roma tomatoes to the second sandwich. <laughs> and this one is hubby, so I had to make sure I put his veggies on there. <laughs> oh, look how pretty it is, you guys. I'm gonna simply continue grilling out my sandwiches until I have a nice golden brown touch. And look at my beautiful baked avocado chips, as well as my delicious yummy looking double smoked tofu bacon and fresh guacamole grilled cheese sandwiches y'all hey lovelies welcome to the taste test and look who popped in again hi hubby hey how y'all doing <laughs> thank you for joining us again oh no problem Wow, two for two, what's really going on? <laughs> All right, you guys, so you saw how I did everything. We have the double smoke bacon strips as well as the guacamole grilled cheese sandwich, you guys, using that sourdough bread. Doesn't that look good and colorful? Oh my gosh, I can't wait to try that, right? <laughs> and then we have my avocado chips right here, you guys. Avocado. Y'all, look what I did with the avocado. Look at them babies, y'all. Oh man, I made it do what it do. Now you know what? I was gonna make my vegan ranch sauce, but you know what? Hubby and I were hungry, so we said, never mind, we got some leftover guacamole for what I use, right? And I'm gonna go ahead and just simply use that. You ready to dig in? Let's dig in. All right, let's do it. <laughs> All right, so let me just see which one is which, because I think I gave myself less guac, because you know you guys are not easing right back into guacamole. So let me just tell you guys real quick, the inspiration for these grilled cheese sandwiches or paninis, um, but I didn't use like the George Foreman, was a friend of mine and I went to New York City. You know I went to New York a few months yeah, ago. I don't know. Okay, so I went to this place called UT47, Manhattan, and they had these delicious panini sandwiches that had like a sliver of avocado. And at first I was freaking out, I was like, no, no avocado. And she was like, but you won't really taste it, you won't really taste it. And she turned me into a believer, baby, because I now eat avocado. <laughs> so without further ado, this one is mine and this one is yours. Okay, 
So, okay. And, all right, you know what? Actually, let me just leave, I'm sorry. Let me just actually move, let's move these avocado okay. chips and put these, uh-oh. Oh, okay. it's okay, it's all good. All right, I got my thumbnail. <laughs> I'm gonna put that down. I'll put this down. All right, and then now you can grab yours and let's just show the people, okay? I got a little bit burnt real quick right here, but right here, y'all, it looks so good. All right, you wanna bring it in? Bring it in to the camera. Yes, look at all that goodness. Yes. Look at all that goodness. Delicious. You can see the green avocado, the double smoked bacon. You can see the sauteed caramelized purple onions or red onions as well as the tomatoes. And then we got the cheese. You ready? I'm ready. Let's toast. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Let's go. Ready? Yep, let's do it. Mmm, you can mm. okay? Ooh. That's good. <laughs> on the avocado and the bacon. Mm-hmm. On the toasted bread. Mm-hmm. With the cheese. Mm. Yeah. That's a lot of flavor in your mouth. Mm-hmm. Boys and girls, it's good. Mm-hmm. She did it again. <laughs> you got a napkin over there? Yeah, I do it. I got I got I got a, I got a bite again. Okay, I'm do fine. it. Do it. Mm -hmm. I'm just hungry. Mm -hmm. Y'all hands crunch? Mm. Mm. Good. Oh my gosh. Look at that. All right, mm. goodness in there. Mm. 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 <laughs> Y'all, it's like truly an explosion in your mouth. Isn't it that? Burst of flavor. <laughs> Come here, baby. <laughs> You got some avocado on your nose. Come here, let me see. <laughs> let me see if you got it. I got it. Yes, yeah, you got it. <laughs> okay. You guys. I need some water now. Okay, do, do what you gotta do. <laughs> Y'all, I put the olive oil and then the vegan butter on top to make it nice it's and good. golden brown. Okay? It's good, y'all. And then I put that bacon. Y'all, that double smoked tofu bacon, which actually does take, taste like bacon. The brand name is Thrilling Foods. The recipe is going to be within the video, but the brand name I will have it in the description box. And then you saw that I put my vegan, I use the brand Vegan. That's my first time using that brand. And it actually tastes it pretty good. pretty good, yeah. yeah. So I use the, their pepper jack vegan cheese, shredded, and then follow your heart. <laughs> The ch shredded cheddar cheese, and then I put me a like a nice little, little thin layer of guacamole, fresh guacamole, y'all. One more bite, okay? Before we move on to the avocado mm -hmm. chips. Mmm. Mmm. You can hear that crunch. Mmm. That crunch. Mmm. 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 Mm. I, I heard the food tasted good, but it sounds good. That <laughs> <laughs> crunch. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, y'all. Y'all gotta make this for real. I'm gonna be making this again, right? Yeah, this is good. This is a delicious, this is a delicious summer, like lunch, right? Summer dish. Mm -hmm. mm. Who knew, right? Right. Okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and bring out our avocado rolls or avocado chips. Avocado chips. You wanna grab those? Mm -hmm. I got Dang, I'm gonna finish this sandwich. I do too. <laughs> okay, like I said, I should have used my, thank you, sweetie. I should have used my, um, being ranch sauce for it, right? But let's just try to see what happens, right? Good. All right, after you, let me just get this one on the size and see crack. After you, baby. Okay, let the people see it before you put it in your mail. Y'all, these are avocado chips. Baked, baked, baby. All right, let's do it. One, two, three. Pretty good. Wow. Mm-hmm. Mmm. It has a crunchy texture. And you can taste the avocado. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Y'all see that? Oh my gosh. You know what I taste? I taste a little of uh, the lemon the lemon juice. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I got a little bit heavy handed on the lemon juice, but it's good, right? Good. Pinch of salt. Mm -hmm. I taste the Italian seasoning and I taste the shredded Parmesan vegan cheese. Mm -hmm. You taste that? Mm -hmm. 
So it's like giving the kick. It's, it's like pop, 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 pop. <laughs> this is really good though, right? Mm -hmm. This is a fun chip. And it's like avocado. Y'all see all the green? It's healthy. And it's healthy. Not only that, it's nice and golden brown. Y'all see the interior? Oh, so what do you think? It's pretty good. It's real light. It's not salty. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, now you have regular potato chips. They're real salty. Mm -hmm. And all that seasoning. Mm -hmm. It's just enough. And it's healthy. Very good. Wow. I was inspired by a recipe I saw on Pinterest. So I'm going to definitely make sure that I put the recipe in Pinterest uh, from Pinterest into this uh, the description box. I'm so distracted, you guys. This is really good, right? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Why is a little smaller piece? Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mm. They're so good and light. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. It's good. Thank you. I get messy. I got you. Got a little crumb on it. I got so you. She got me. <laughs> Want another one? Yeah, I'm gonna try it with you. Okay. I'm gonna try it with you. Why don't you go ahead walk and show the people? I have, Put it up there so they can see. See how to walk dip right here? I'm just gonna have a spoon. Yeah. Now you can go ahead and show it to yeah, me. Take it, yeah. You can show the uh, guac a little bit more on the camera. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was the leftover guac that I made earlier, you guys. Go ahead. I'm use this as dip and see how it tastes. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. You yeah, can try this, huh? Okay. Try it. So it's like a double. Double, yeah. Damn, double it's good, whammy. But it's good. Okay. So you know, this is the guac that I made, you guys, and I actually put onto, thank you, sweetie. Mm -hmm. I put onto the panini. Look at the green. Look at the contrast of the green, you guys. Oh my gosh, the little panini. Mm. <laughs> All right. All right. Moment of the truth. Moment of truth, because you guys, this is really like avocado overload for me. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Looks so pretty though. See? <laughs> I told you. Oh. It's good. My God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's good. You were not kidding. Mm -hmm. Woo -hoo -hoo. The flavor. The flavor. <laughs> it's in your mouth. Y'all see this? Oh my gosh. That's delicious, babe. Right? Mm -hmm. Man, mm. 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 Good. Mm. <laughs> Did it again, people. Mm. I don't even know what am I supposed to do here. Just eat it all. What? Eat it all. <laughs> this is so good, y'all. That's what it's here for. Eat it all. Mmm, it's mm. so healthy. All avocado. So, mmm, thank you, babe. Mm -hmm. You want this one? Mmm, you can have it. Okay. So. If you guys are trying to figure out what to do with my avocado other than making some guacamole, I want to challenge you. I want to challenge you not only to make this delicious double smoke bacon strips with the guacamole, as well as the pepper jack cheese and the cheddar cheese, okay? <laughs> and the sauteed caramelized red onions. But I want to actually challenge y'all to make some avocado chips in the process with your dip. Let's spruce it up in the household. That's right. All right. Until then, lovely people. I should talk to you in the next episode of Nikki Siri Beginnings. Thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and share out this video. You got any last words for the beautiful people? Yeah. Make it and munch down. <laughs> Make it and munch down. Talk to you guys later. Take care. Bye. <laughs>